Welcome back to Nostalgenomics. My name is Alex. Today, we're going to talk about why you should not buy product on pre-release. And I know, I know, anyone out there with a store or with distribution trying to move new product, you're not going to like me for this. I'm sorry, but I got to do what's best for my community, the best for everyone out there watching that wants to get in at the best possible prices, the best entry points. And this is not the time. So don't get caught up in the FOMO. Don't get caught up in all the hype. Don't get caught up in the sponsored listings of Astral Radiance booster boxes that they're trying to push saying, these are the cheapest prices on eBay. You know, you're going to get your product earlier than everyone else. Don't pay attention to it. You will have better entry points. The product's not going to run out. There will be more prints, more waves. And I promise you, you'll be able to get in this product cheaper. Now, if you just want to be the first to open the product for fun, go ahead. If it's not a financial thing, have a good time. Always have a good time first. If you want to gamble, if you want to be the first to pull that chase card, be the first one to send it into PSA and get that PSA 10, send it in Express, get it back, list it on eBay right away and get those biggest gains, hey, go for it. I like playing roulette too. Go ahead, throw your money on a number, hope it hits, and, you know, cash out. That's great too. But for anyone wanting to play the long run, the long game, they want to get in at the best entry points and hold it long term, this is not the time. So before I get into that, I'm going to show you some data. But first... I want to say thank you and I appreciate every single one of you who have subscribed recently. The channel's been growing like crazy. Um, thanks for everyone who commented on the giveaway. You know, good luck to everyone out there and everyone who's been commenting lately. Uh, it's going to take me a little bit, but I am going to reply to each and every one of your comments like I promised, but uh, it's going to take a little longer because I'm getting a lot more than, than I used to. But to everyone out there who's not subscribed, you know how I say, you know, at the beginning of the videos, uh, subscribe to the channel if you, if you haven't yet, if you like me, if you like the content. Here's why I do that. Check this out. This is my backend analytics. 68% of you watching these videos are not subscribed. What are you waiting for? What are you doing? Do you not like me? Do you not want to be a part of the community here? I don't know what it is, but 68% of you obviously like the videos. You're continuing to come back and watch them. So, hey, it might be easy to just hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified when a new video comes up. Fair enough? All right, so anyone out there, if you're part of that 68%, maybe consider subscribing, all right? Getting into today's video though. First set we're gonna look at is Evolving Skies, okay? Pre-release prices were up in the mid 170s. Immediately within the first month, dropped all the way down in the 120s. So just waiting, just not getting caught up in FOMO, you could have saved $50 a box. Now, I understand there's been some price fluctuations since then. I'm not saying that Astral Radiance is not gonna perform well in the future. All I'm saying is that there is going to be a time when these boxes are cheaper than pre-release prices. And all you have to do is wait, okay? Same thing with Fusion Strike. I know this is a bad example because it's done nothing but go down, but same deal, all right? It was up at almost $180 a box at pre-release. It dropped all the way in the 80s, right? Brilliant Stars, okay? One of the most popular sets released in the Sword and Shield, all right? Pre-released up in the 180s. It dropped all the way down in the one teens. All right. All you have to do is wait about a month or two. You could have got it $70 cheaper a box. All right. Same thing with celebrations. Um, I don't know if these prices are 100% accurate on celebrations. I don't remember Elite Trainer boxes going for in the $180 range, but they were in the hundreds and on pre release and they got all the way down in the 50s. Okay. So just patience, people. Just patience. Same thing with the hit cards. I'm going to show you those. Evolving Skies, um, Umbreon Alternate Art. Now, again, I didn't say they wouldn't perform in the future. Look, it's already came back and eclipsed the pre-release prices. But look at that decline. Pre-release up in the 330s dropped all the way down almost in half in literally not even a month. All right. Same thing with the Espeon Alternate Art and Fusion Strike. Started out in the 180s, dropped in half. The Charizard V uh, Alternate Art from Brilliant Stars. Started out in the 200s, dropped all the way down to 160s, had some fluctuation, fluctuations, but it still has not returned to those pre-release prices. And then again, Charizard from Celebrations started out pre-release in the 150s, dropped all the way almost in half, or more than half actually. All right, so what does this tell you? This tells you that these prices of Astral Radiance booster boxes going in the 120s, I understand the stores do it because they need to make a profit, but anyone out there who's trying to be a good steward of their money, who's trying to get into the best entry points, who wants to be in these sealed products long term but doesn't know when to buy, this is not the time. This is the FOMO get in period that ever all the you know masses are trying to get in these boxes. They think the product's gonna run out. It's not gonna run out. There will be more ways. There will be more print runs. 
there will be lower prices than you see here. So if you have some patience, consider waiting. If you want to just get in and crack some packs and rip them and try to pull the hit cards right away and grade them and have all kind of fun and try to hit those, you know, those home runs and try to get them on the market really quick and, and kind of spin the roulette wheel and hit that number, hey, have fun, enjoy it. Don't worry about the financial, you know, gains or, or losses you might take by doing that. But if you're looking for sealed product investing, if you're looking to, you know, put a few away, consider waiting. You will have better prices. So hope this video helped. All you 68 percenters out there, I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. And everyone else out there who is subscribed and does watch these videos, thank you from the bottom of my heart from all the support that you've shown lately. Um, the words don't describe how appreciative I am. So thanks for coming back and watching the videos. My name's Alex. This is Nostalgianomics. I'll be back here with a new video soon. I'm out.